Hello, this is Matt Keyes, and we're looking at my WP Nav Plus plugin for WordPress. And in this video, I'm going to cover uh, a really unique uh, feature, uh, the ability to create really custom layouts with your menus uh, using a couple of features that we've added in WP Nav Plus uh, called Limit and Offset. Um, and I have an example of how you might want to use this, although there's tons of ways that you might end up using these functions. Uh, but commonly, I see websites nowadays, including in the footer, uh, multiple column sitemap, um, where it's displaying all the menu links, uh, but they lay it out horizontally in a way that would normally be very tricky to accomplish in WordPress. So let's see how we solve this problem uh, using widgets, uh, the WP Nav Plus widget. Uh, so here we are in the admin, uh, the widget area, and we're looking at two widgetized areas, uh, footer column one and footer column two. Inside of each we have a WP Nav Plus widget. And for our first column here, what I decided to do was just output the first three links. And you can see our, our whole structure here just for reference. Uh, so we have four parent links, and then the fourth one has many children. So in this first column, I want to only output the first three, so I went to the limit option here and set it to three. And you can see as I change this, we'll set it to two for a moment. That will update uh, in our footer here. So we'll put this back to three. And then in our second column, I wanted to output as many links as there are. Uh, there only happens to be one more top level link. Uh, but I don't want to output the same links that I already had in the first column. So what I did here is I set an offset of three links. And when you put that all together, you can control the layout of your, your menu to make those multiple column uh, site nav footer maps, uh, footer site maps, I should say, uh, that are common nowadays. And that's just one example. Um, you know, you can use limit and offset uh, however you really need to accomplish uh, some pretty unique uh, menu layouts. Uh, so all of what I've shown you has been using the widget. Uh, there's another way to do this too, and that is to use uh, the WP nav menu function in your template. Uh, so if you are a WordPress developer or an advanced user, uh, this is probably your preferred way to do it. So first I commented out those widgets that we were using in our previous demonstration. And I'm going to uncomment out uh, our first column. Uh, so you can see this is using the WP nav menu function that you've seen dozens of times, I'm sure. And then we've added this additional argument. So WP nav uh, plus injects this limit argument in here. Uh, so just like the widget, uh, we can limit however many items we want to be output here. And then in our second column, we're simply going to use another WP nav menu function. And we have our new argument here called offset. And we can use offset to skip those three items that we've already output. And when you're building with this, keep in mind you can also use limit and offset together. Uh, so you could limit to three, whoops, and offset the first one. Now you see here we skipped home and off and output the next three links uh, from our structure. So we're outputting just solutions, resources, and company now. So you can see how you could use limit and offset uh, however you really need to to accomplish some really uh, crazy uh, layouts that might normally be impossible or at least very frustrating uh, to build. Uh, so check out some of my other videos uh, if you're also interested in how you can use uh, WP Nav Plus uh, to easily create these divided menus where you have like a logo in the center um, and also to create uh, these split menus. Uh, for instance, here we're looking at the company page. And we've got a, a submenu showing just the children of that company page. Thank you very much for watching.